Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at this question here. This question says that find the number of numbers up to five, six, seven, eight that are divisible by at least one of two, five, or seventy-one. Okay, so it's a good question actually. A good application of uh, Euler's number. Okay. So see the number of numbers up to five, six, seven, eight that are divisible by at least one of two, five, or seventy-one. So you know that what what are Euler numbers, right? We have discussed earlier what are Euler numbers, है ना? So how do you calculate Euler number? So suppose for example, I need to calculate Euler number of thirty. What you do? So the Euler number thirty means, uh, or take a small example. For example, if I take Euler number of ten, uh, so Euler, Euler number of ten basically means that from one to ten, you eliminate all the multiples of two, and you el eliminate all the multiples of five. So if you solve it, so ten into half into four by five that is equal to four. So you're getting four as the answer. That means Euler number of ten is four. That means before ten there are four numbers. Like one, three, seven, and nine. These are the four numbers which are co-prime with ten, which are co-prime with ten, right? So Euler number of ten basically means that the numbers which are co-prime with ten. So one, three, seven, nine, before ten are co-prime to ten. Okay. So before ten, one, three, seven, nine are co-prime to ten. So how many numbers? Four numbers. That's the way to calculate, right? From one to ten, from ten numbers, one minus one by two means eliminate all the multiples of two, and then eliminates all the multiples of five. So basically, two and five are the prime factors of this number, right? So same logic I'll be using here also. So basically, if I see two, five, and seventy-one, so I need to need the number of numbers up to five, six, seven that are divisible by at least one of. Okay. So let's let's first try to find out that how many numbers are not divisible. Okay. But if you see two, five, and seventy-one, so if I'm checking with two, five, and seventy-one here, ah, uh, so two, five, and seventy-one. That means C. If I'm checking any number which is divisible by two and five, that automatically means that I'm checking by ten, है ना? So a number which is divisible by two and five both, that means it is divisible by ten. Similarly, a number which is divisible by two, five, and seventy-one, all three, ah, uh, that is divisible by what? LCM. What is that LCM? So like two and five is ten. So two into five into seventy one, that is equal to seven hundred ten. So basically, understand this. Now this question can be asked to me that what is the Euler number of seven hundred ten? So that I can that that I can calculate easily. That means uh, from seven hundred ten, eliminate all the multiples of two, eliminate all the multiples of five. And eliminates all the multiple of seventy one, है ना? So what is? I'll, I'll get answer. For example, I'll get the answer seven ten into one by two into four by five into seventy by seventy one. I'm just taking an example here, right? If I if I try to solve it here, so I can solve basically. So my answer will be two eighty. Okay, so two eighty is my answer. Ten into four fourteen into two eighty. That means Euler of seven hundred ten is two eighty. That means before seven hundred ten. There are two uh, eighty numbers which are co-prime with seven ten. So co-prime with seven ten that means what? So co-prime with seven ten means what? Numbers like one, numbers like three, numbers like uh, I think I should eleven, numbers like thirteen. Huh? So all these numbers are what? These are co-prime with seven hundred ten. So if you calculate the full list, you'll get total two eighty numbers will be getting. Okay. So if you count all the numbers, that's a, that's a two eighty here, right? So from seven ten eliminate all the multiples of two four and two uh, five and seventy one. Okay. So now understand now is so now basically I'll take a multiple of seven hundred ten near this number. If you see, so seven hundred ten multiple near this number is seven hundred ten into eight is what five six eight zero. Okay. That basically means that I'll be operating on five six eight zero. So I'll be operating on five six eight zero. Right, that means from five six eight zero. Since it's a multiple of seven hundred ten, the same thing I'll be doing. Eliminate all the multiples of two. Eliminate all the multiples of five, and eliminate all the multiples of seventy one. Right. So that means from five six eight zero. If I calculate this, what I'm getting here. So I'm getting. Let's solve it. So I'm getting five six eight zero into one by two into four by five into seventy by seventy one. Okay. So now it can get cancelled. Seventy one into eight times that is eighty, and it is seven. So eighty into four three twenty three twenty into seven is twenty two forty. That basically means that before fifty six eighty there are two there are two thousand two hundred 
240 numbers right listen carefully before 5680 from 1 to 5680 there are 20 uh, 240 numbers that means 2240 numbers which doesn't which are not multiple of either 2 or 5 or 71 right so they are not the multiples of either 2 or 5 or 71 that basically means what i need to eliminate all these values here okay so basically that means these what are these numbers these these, these two two four zero numbers consist the numbers like 1 3 11 13 17 like that huh these numbers should be co prime with 5680 that means these numbers are not divisible with 2 say 2 with 7 5 6 8 0 huh? that means two that i can say that uh, two two four zero numbers are not divisible huh? with uh, five six eight zero okay but my number here is five six seven eight that means uh, i've taken two numbers extra i've counted right just because for ease of counting just for ease of counting because i could directly apply my formula and uh, i i could do this huh? one minus one by two five otherwise the answer would be in decimals right if i if i would take five six seven eight here my answer would be in decimal right so now i can just ignore two numbers now so we still five six eight zero if there are two two four zero numbers that means i can say that i can ignore two more numbers here so i can which two numbers uh, i can igno ignore here okay so let's ignore five six uh, seven nine and five six eight zero okay these are, these are the two extra numbers counted here huh? so this 2240 includes these two numbers also correct so let's subtract these two numbers so 2240 minus 2 so I, it is 2238 2238 that basically means that basically means that that number of numbers i can say that number of numbers okay up to five six seven eight huh which are not divisible by which are not divisible by any of two five and seventy one is two two three eight that's what i can say here okay so i hope all of you got this concept right so let me have this all this part here so i hope all of you got this concept right So what I can say now that number of numbers up to 5, 6, 7, 8 which are not divisible by any of 2, 5 and 71 is 2, 2, 3, 8. Right. So that means number of numbers which are divisible will be equal to 5, uh, 6, 7, 8 minus 2, 2, 3, 8. The answer will be 3, 4, 4, 0 these many numbers will be divisible that's the answer okay it's a very good question it's a fantastic concept guys okay so i hope you got this okay thank you and also also this combat guys okay so this uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so their easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrda sets also um this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get you get get, get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this is one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding 
but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 one year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% or so sir great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the in, uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay so ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you